All right, and welcome to the tutorial for how to digitally sign and save a permission form for St. Aloysius Life Teen. Uh, for everything that we do, really, uh, you can save this file and keep it permanently on your hard drive, or you can email it to me. And uh, the first thing you need is a computer. So this is my desktop. See, it's the Vatican. Very beautiful. Um, after you have your computer, you're going to need to go to your web browser. And uh, your web browser will look differently. Mine is Google Chrome. You might use Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. In any case, you're going to need to get on the Internet. First thing you need to do is make sure you have Adobe. Uh, Adobe Reader is what we're looking for. So type in Adobe Reader Download and Google search it. And you should get the first hit, get.adobe.com backslash reader. And all you're going to need to do is click on that link, like so. And again, you need to make sure you have Adobe Reader 11. And uh, you need to download it. So just click the download link, and your download should start. You're going to need to save it. And once you save it, um, I'm going to save it in the downloads folder that I have. So you save it, and um, it will I actually have an Adobe folder. So you just click Save. I'm going to hit it. Yeah, look, see, it's, it's going to pop up at the bottom of Google Chrome that it's downloaded. So I can click on that link and hit Run. Uh, that's, that will install the program. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it right now. But once you do have your Adobe Reader downloaded and installed onto your system, uh, you can go to the Life Teen page, which is staloysishickory.org backslash youth, and then click on the tab Permission Forms. It's right there at the top. Once Permission Forms loads, uh, you just go to the very first paragraph. I'm highlighting it right now. It's the Diocesan Permission Form that we use, and just hit Click Here. You can do two things, actually. One, you can hit Click Here, and you've got the Permission Form, but this is still just in your browser, so you can't really edit it. You need to have it on your hard drive to be able to edit this in Adobe Reader. So you can do one of two things. One, you can right-click, or on Apple, Command-click, Save As, and just save it. Save this file wherever you're going to remember it. I'm going to put it in my Documents folder, and it's already named High School Permission Form. So I'm just going to save it there, and it's going to go there. Uh, or you could go back a page, and you could actually right-click on Click Here, or Command-click if you're on a Mac, and click Save Link As, and it'll do the same thing for you. It'll allow you to save that PDF onto your hard drive. Once you have it saved, just exit out of your web browser. And then, uh, since I saved the file into my Documents folder, I'm going to go to Documents. Look for the file that I saved. It's called High School Permission Form. And just double click. And look, Adobe Reader loads. And it automatically is the default program to open up a PDF file. And I'm going to have the option right there. It says Signature Fields Detected. And it'll give you the option to open the sign pane. Or you can click this little button right here, which will allow you to open up the sign pane as well. I'm just going to click right here, and then a dialog box is going to appear to your right, right here. See, I need to sign. Just click Add Text. That's all you need to do. And then you're going to have like a little text dialog box that allows you to change the font and the size. Um, and then you just fill this out like a normal form. Uh, you don't need to fill out activity or date, because that will change depending on the activity and the date that we actually do something. Um, and it would probably be easier just for you to print out the form as it is and then write it in. But you definitely want to fill in your child's name. So you can just click. And look, it turns into an editable text feature. And all you need to do is type in your name. I don't have any children, so I'm just going to type in William Schaefer Griffith V, because that's, that'll be the name of my firstborn son. Um, and just make sure it's there. You can actually click outside of it and then move it and reposition re, uh, it anywhere on the permission form. The parish will always be St. Aloysius. So you can just leave that alone. That's automatically signed into the document. Then you need to type in your home address. Um, I was going to type my home address, but actually, you know what? Um, to give a better example, I'm going to delete this. And then I'm just going to type the church address. So it's 921 Second Street Northeast. And then we're in Hickory NC 28601. And you'll put your own address there, of course. And then you need to type in your home phone number. For maybe that's going to be an 828 number. I'm just typing 555 because it leads to nowhere. Then you're going to want to put in your high school, the date of birth. Um, let's see, my kid will be homeschooled. So there's no date of birth, whenever, I don't know. Then you're going to want to put your name or the guardian name. And then you're going to want to put your work phone. 
uh, for to contact you at work if that's applicable. And the address you can fill in only if it's different from your child's address. Then give me your cell phone number. This is your cell phone number, the parent guardian cell phone number. Again, 828-555-5556. And then let me know whose that is. Put parentheses dad. And then for the other one, put you know the phone number, whatever it is, 555-5557. That's real creative. And then put mom, just so I know who I'm calling if we ever have to make an emergency call. Then just be sure to put your email address. This is your email address, so dad at gmail.com. Then put the emergency point of contact. If it's different from you, the parent or guardian, so grandma would be ours. And then you fill in her phone number. Now the adult leader is the next thing you need to fill out, and that's always going to be Billy G. And it will be for quite a while until I win the lottery or something. And then you're going to want to sign, leave that blank. Uh, but type in your uh, insurance card information right here. You need your policy name and policy number. So go dig that out and just uh, type it in there, and that way you'll permanently have this saved into your documents so you don't always have to go looking for your insurance card. So I'll do ABC123, and then my policy number will be you and me girl. And then uh, the telephone number for your insurance company, and that'll look different for anybody. So we're going to do 1-800. One, one and then something, whatever your address is. Then your t-shirt size, uh, that's for your child, not for you. And my kid will probably be a medium, so I'll just do that. The next thing you do, you've got it all filled out, so you're done, basically. Just exit out of the text box and then go to File. We're gonna go up to File in the left-hand corner. Um, well, once you review and make sure everything's done. Um, you can actually add your own signature if you like. Uh, just type in your name and it's gonna give you the option of a default very ugly default font, and you can choose different styles, one, two, or three. They're all pretty bad, so I don't recommend doing that. Um, you could, but I don't recommend it. Then you can write your own signature, you just drag and click, and that is definitely not my signature, so I'll try that again. W, okay, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm not good with that. Um, but then uh, you could browse if you have an image of your signature somewhere on file, and you can just put it in right there and then permanently have it, um, so you don't have to worry about signing it every time. Uh, but that's that's uh, pretty important. We need your signature. But then go to file. You're gonna file. You're gonna go down to the save as option. You want to save this as something different. Um, you can save it as whatever you like, wherever you're gonna be able to find it on your computer. I'm gonna save it in my documents, and I'm going to name it. Oh, what am I gonna name it? Child. Child's name. So you can name it whatever the name of your child is, and then complete permission form. Uh, and then that way you'll know. If you have multiple children in Life Teen, which child that belongs to, everything, just go back to your Documents folder, make sure it all saved. I saved mine in my Documents folder, so that's where I'm going to go. And then uh, I'm just going to look for child. There we go, child's name, permission form. Boom, look at that. It's all filled out, it's done, it's ready to go. You could just print this out and then send it in to me with your child whenever you like, or you could do something even better, more convenient you could actually uh, send this as an attachment to my email at billyg.youthminister at gmail.com and then I will permanently have your child's permission form on file with all the information that I need. So you can print this off and send it in. I'm not going to because I don't need to right now, but uh, I highly recommend emailing it. And uh, there you go. That's the uh, gist of it all. Hopefully that cleared up a few questions and now you know how to digitally sign and print your forms.